Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mid-State's nursing pinning ceremony. It's my pleasure to kick off the ceremony by first congratulating the nursing graduates. You have selected an important career that allows you to contribute to the health of individuals, families, communities, and ultimately, the nation. Congratulations on your career choice and accomplishments. Before we get to the main attraction, I would like to acknowledge several people who support and contribute to the success of our nursing program. They include Shelley Mondike, our college president, Deb Stencil, vice president of academics, Chris Severson, executive dean, education services, and Colleen Kane, dean, school of health and protective services. Also, thanks to the academic advisors and counselors who help our students in so many ways. To our clinical partners, thank you for welcoming our students into your agencies, both as nursing students and as nursing graduates. To the advisory committee members, thank you for your time and input into our curriculum to ensure our program remains a leader in nursing education. To the executive leadership team who oversees college initiatives in helping us to achieve our mission of transforming lives. And to the IT for coordinating all of the technology required to make today's ceremony a success. And kudos, of course, to the awesome nursing faculty, both full and part-time, who work very hard in guiding students in reaching their academic goals. If you could please stand and face the crowd to be acknowledged. Thank you for your hard work. And finally, thanks to the nursing graduates. Thank you for choosing nursing. Our community needs you. And thank you for choosing Mid-State Technical College. On behalf of the faculty, we want you to know it has been a privilege to be part of your educational journey. Our mission at Mid-State Technical College is to transform lives. And you are evidence of our success in that mission. But transforming lives does not stop here. You have chosen a career that transforms lives. Every day, patients will flourish because of your quality care. In closing, all of us at Mid-State extend our sincere congratulations. We honor your hard work and dedication. We express our gratitude for your perseverance. You are joining the nursing profession at a time of uncertainty. We are confident you will rise to the challenge and overcome any adversity, because that's what nurses do. Your courage and determination to succeed during a global pandemic is truly a testament to your commitment in becoming a nurse. Know that we are here to celebrate you. We are proud and excited to welcome you into the honorable profession of nursing.
Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brian Emerson, and I'm proud to be a member of this graduating nursing class of the fall of 2021. As I look around at my fellow classmates, I cannot put into words a way to express the great honor that I feel in this nomination to represent your voices at this ceremony. So first and foremost, I thank you for that. When I was a kid, I never really knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. While some kids have dreams of becoming an astronaut or a firefighter, when I was four years old, I once spent 20 minutes trying to convince an elderly woman that I was an alien from the planet Saturn. <laughs> I either had her convinced or she was just humoring me. I digress. While I never knew what career path I wanted to follow, I did know one thing that I wanted to change the world. 
It was a very blind ambition to have because I didn't really know what that meant. But there was still that fire burning deep inside my soul. I remember when I first stumbled upon the idea of nursing. I, don't, I was almost nervous about telling my family and friends that I was about to try something completely new. It wasn't until I told one of my best friends that I realized that I was exactly where I needed to be. He explained, you have spent your whole life stating that you wanted to change the world. Well, maybe you don't have to. By being a nurse, you may not be changing the world, but for each patient, you have the opportunity to change their world. And that was a statement that stuck with me throughout these past couple years. So what does it mean to be a nurse in the COVID-19 era? In all of the trials and tribulations of adapting to these changing times, we have become adept at inserting Foley catheters into water bottles and performing full head-to-toe assessments on our family members. All jokes aside though, we have learned to adapt. We have endured. We have shown tremendous amounts of grit. While hospitals across the country are seeing increasing numbers of patients and staffing shortages that are at an all-time high, we have stepped up to the plate, guided by our ethical principle of beneficence to do good. No one who has gone through this program can say that it was easy, but nothing in this life that's worth having comes easy. This is just the beginning for us. Continue to adapt, continue to endure, and go out there and change the world. Thank you. Welcome to the nursing pinning ceremony. What is pinning? A pinning ceremony is a symbolic welcoming of newly graduated nurses into the nursing profession. The tradition of the pinning ceremony represents a rite of passage into a profession committed to caring. It symbolizes the fact that you have earned the privilege to practice nursing and commitment of service to others. The honor of wearing the pin is accompanied by many rights and responsibilities. It has been said a true profession needs to have a sense of its own history. It is important to know where we come from in order to envision what we can become. The history of the nursing pin dates back to the 12th century. At that time, a religious order called the Knights of the Hospital of St. John the Baptist cared for ill crusaders. The Knights took a vow to serve the sick. For this, they were presented with a Maltese cross to wear on their black habit that draped over their armor. This signified that they were the caretakers. The first nurse to receive a pin was Florence Nightingale in the 1860s. She was awarded the Red Cross of St. George for her work in the Crimean War. In turn, she began to honor her most outstanding graduates by giving them a Medal of Excellence. In the United States, the tradition of awarding all graduates with a pin began at Bellevue Hospital School of Nursing in New York City in 1880. By 1916, pinning had become a common practice in schools of nursing throughout the United Kingdom and the United States. The Mid-State pin has both a lamp and a book. The lamp is a traditional symbol of excellence which dates back to Florence Nightingale, also known as the Lady with the Lamp. Together, the lamp and the book represent the interrelationship of the art and science of nursing. Faculty bestows the pin to welcome you into the profession. The pinning ceremony serves to remind us of our rich history and our promise as a nurse to serve the health needs of society. The pin you receive today is a symbol of the hard work you have done in order to earn your degree and the privilege of becoming a nurse. We asked some of our colleagues, what does your pin mean to you and why do you wear your pin? When I think about my nursing pin and what it means to me, I think about all of the dedication and the commitment um, and effort that I put in to achieve my goal of becoming an RN and how proud I felt once I did meet that end goal and to just be welcomed into the profession, into a good community of nurses. 
And then also to be able to have earned that and go out into the community and take care of people when they're at their most vulnerable and sick times. When I look at my nursing pin, a few words come to mind. The first being sacrifice. All of the events and social outings that I sacrificed in order to spend time studying and prepping for my test in order to become an RN. Dedication. All the hard work that I put towards prepping and perfecting my nursing skills. And last but not least, strength. The power and the willingness to look past those hard days and push forward to the ultimate goal. And I hope that when you look at your nursing pin that you feel pride for all that you've accomplished. Congratulations and good luck. Wear your nursing pin with pride throughout your career. The faculty hopes it will remain a constant reminder of your acceptance of the responsibility a nurse embodies and a commitment to excellence and caring. Congratulations, graduates. First, I would like to thank God because without my faith, I would never have made it this far. Next, I would like to thank my loving boyfriend, family, and friends for all the support they provided during nursing school. All of their encouragement and belief in me was what kept me going and allowed me to make it here today. I want to give a special thank you to Megan Blount for seeing something in me that I could not see in myself. Lastly, thank you, Mom, for always praying for me and showing me what true strength looks like. I hold all of you close to my heart and could not have made it through this incredibly tough program without you. I would like to thank my chosen family for supporting me and helping me through my struggles, my friends for their endless love and understanding, my boyfriend Alex for making me smile and believing in me day in and day out, Hadley for making me a better person and better nurse, Lisa and Jeff for always making my day brighter, Carolyn for not only pinning me but also encouraging me and helping me see the best in myself. Finally, I would like to thank my peers for laughing, crying, and stressing out with me through the program. I wish you all luck on your nursing endeavors, but I know we won't need it. I would like to thank my beautiful wife, Skye. You continue to ensure me that I would do well, even when I wasn't so sure myself. Your love for me and your confidence in me has guided me through this program. I would also like to thank my family and friends for their continuous love and support, especially in my social absence over these last couple years. It is my hope that now that I have graduated, I can place you at the forefront of my life again. I would like to thank the instructors for giving us the information and tools to succeed. I'd like to thank my family for always believing in me and encouraging me, especially when I didn't believe in myself. I would like to thank Trina and Amanda for keeping me sane during all of our study sessions. And last but definitely not least, I would like to thank my amazing husband, Eric, for supporting me and cheering me on these last two years. Thank you for all the sacrifices you have made so I can follow my dreams. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. I would like to thank my friends and family for their patience, continuous encouragement, and support over the last two years. I would also like to thank my youngest sister Elizabeth and my boyfriend Nick for playing the roles of my patients and allowing me to practice skills and perform assessments on them during the first semester. I would also like to th acknowledge my peers who have motivated and continued to inspire me throughout the nursing program. They have all played a huge role in me being here today. None of this would have been possible without any of you. Thank you. I'd like to thank my family and friends for their understanding during all the times I took at school before them. I'd also like to thank them for the loads of encouragement and love they heaped on me in the multiple times 
They told me that they believed in me when I struggled to believe that I would succeed. I'd also like to thank my instructors for pointing out all the truly important things over and over and for providing many great experiences. And last but not least, I'd love to thank my fellow classmates. There is no way I could have successfully navigated school alone. Thank you all. I would like to thank my friends and family for the support over the past couple of years. Their care and love have helped me make it to this day. In addition, I would like to acknowledge my peers for being there for me when times got tough. My peers have inspired me to keep progressing so I can stand here today with the rest of them. Thank you. I would like to thank my family, my boyfriend, and my friends for the endless support and making the bad days better throughout this program. To Rowan, Liam, and Zach, thank you so much for your love and support over the last three years. I could not have done this without you. You gave me space when I needed it. You gave me love and support when my self-confidence was at its lowest. You gave me laughter when I felt overwhelmed and down. Thank you to my carpooling classmates who made clinicals slightly more bearable. To the teachers who struggled through the surreal COVID landscape right along with us and to Sam for being an amazing friend and teacher. To Rowan and Liam, I hope that I have shown you that growth and learning is a lifelong endeavor, and I hope that I have made you proud. Here is to the start of our future. I would like to thank all of my family and friends that have helped me to get to where I'm standing today. To my husband, TJ, your support, encouragement, and patience have meant the world to me these past two years. Thank you for always being my rock. To my kids, Carter and Riley, thank you for being patient when mommy had to study and for always reminding me of what is important in life. And to baby Aaliyah for keeping me company on my all-night study sessions. To my mom and dad, thank you for your unconditional love and always believing in me and in everything that I do. Without your help, I wouldn't be standing here today. And lastly, thank you to the great group of friends I've made along the way and all of the amazing instructors that have helped guide me through this journey. I'm grateful for you all. Thank you. I would like to especially thank my family for being supportive of me, my mom for letting me move back home during my time in the nursing program and watching my kids on all her days off, I know it wasn't easy. I would like to thank Shawn Michael for being so understanding and patient with me when I was stressed and for taking the kids so I could study. To my dad, you have encouraged me and pushed me to be where I am. I truly could not have done this without the love and support of my family. I would like to thank all my instructors throughout the program. You have all been great and without you, I would not be here today. Lastly, to my peers, I appreciate you all and wish everyone the best in their nursing career. I want to give numerous thanks to all the people who have loved and supported me and allowed me to grow into the person I am today. A big thanks to my mom who has always supported me and believed in all my goals and dreams. A thank you to my brother and Seattle family who have always encouraged me to push through the program and understood when I couldn't visit often. Thank you to my sorority who has understood that I rarely have time for non-academic events and have always supported me. A big thank you to my boyfriend who has always loved and supported me unconditionally through all the tears and hard work of the program while respecting the fact that I have very little time to visit or talk. He always pushes me to be the best I can. Thank you to Carolyn and Megan who have been influential in my confidence and trust of my abilities as a nurse. They have showed me what type of nurse I want to be. Thank you to Jeff and Lisa for always supplying lots of smiles, laughter, and support. A final thank you is to Hannah. Thank you for a friendship and a support system I needed and will forever cherish. 
for the laughter and the tears. I wish you all the best on your future careers and life journey. I would like to thank my children, Broden, Riley May, and Fletcher for being patient with me while I was studying and couldn't hang out with the rest of the family. I also want to thank them for being such good sports when they had to serve as my mannequins for recording and practicing nursing skills. I want to thank my wife Heather for taking on the extra duties when I had to be in school or clinical and for her support. Finally, thank you for the nursing instructors for their help and to my classmates for support over the program time. I wish you all the best. I would like to thank my boyfriend, Austin, for all the sacrifices he made for our family while I was in nursing school and all the nights he took care of our kids while I studied. I could not have done it without him. I would like to thank my kids, Adrian and Trexton, for being my biggest fans and always cheering me on, telling me I can do it. I would like to thank my parents and sister for the endless amount of support and encouragement throughout the years. I would like to thank my instructors, Sue, for being an advocate for me at the beginning of the semester and Sharon for being flexible and understanding during a tough time. I appreciate everything you have done. Lastly, I would like to thank all my friends and the rest of my family for believing in me and motivating me to get here. I would like to thank my family, Brandon, and friends for their continuous encouragement and support over the past couple of years. Their love and understanding have helped me make it to this day. I would specifically like to thank my mom who has inspired me to pursue nursing and remember my grandma who has shown me my love for oncology. I would also like to thank my peers for being there for me during the nursing program. They kept me motivated and helped me when time got really hard. Thank you. I would like to thank my parents for all of their support they have provided me throughout my years of college, but especially nursing school. Thank you for teaching me to never give up on the things I want to accomplish and for moving me to three different cities the past six years. I could not have done it without you. I would like to thank my friends, but especially my best friend and roommate Kelsey for listening to me vent and cry when school was so stressful. Thank you to my loving and supportive boyfriend for the continuous encouragement you give me every single day and always reminding me that I will make it. Finally, I want to thank my fellow past and present classmates for the insight, lessons, learns, and, and support throughout this journey. I wish everyone the best of luck on their future endeavors. My first recollection in nursing school was introducing ourselves and telling everybody why we wanted to be a nurse. To be honest, at that time as a paramedic, I really didn't want to become a nurse. It was just my next most logical step in my career. However, as I've gone through and I watched a very good friend of mine go through EMT to nurse and watch the level of care she could give to people, I really changed my mind about becoming a nurse. I want to just thank my fellow students, particularly Trina and Becca for uh, helping me survive nursing school and my friends, my family, my co-workers who have had to put up with me for the last three years complaining about it and I hope to God that I live up and be the type of nurse I need to be for all of you. Thank you. Hey everybody, we did it. I want to thank my family and my friends who supported me through school and never gave up on me. I want to thank my mom for understanding that I never had any free time to go do anything with her. I want to thank my fiance for putting up with all the crazy emotions that come with school. And finally, my nursing school friends. Those have gone through the stress with me and supported each other when we just needed a good venting session. Thank everyone for the support. We made it.
I did, I graduated nursing school. I would like to thank my husband, Phil, for being so supportive through this crazy journey and being so patient with my hectic schedule and endless hours of studying. Also, I'd like to thank my parents for the constant encouragement and pushing me to, to the finish line and my friends for being so understanding of my schedule and cheering me on. I am happy for the friends I made through this journey and the memories we have together. Finally, thank you to all the nurses in my family for being such great role models to me. I would like to thank my husband and children for being patient with me and for all of the sacrifices they have had to make while I was in nursing school. I would also like to thank my parents, my sister, my friends, and my family for the continuous support and encouragement they have given me. I could not have done it without them. Also, thank you to all of my instructors throughout my time in the nursing program. You have all been great, and without you, I would not be here today. I can't believe this day is finally here. I know I could not have made it this far without my family and my friends. I would like to thank all my instructors for sharing their knowledge and preparing us for our careers. I want to thank my manager, Melissa, for making this possible and for always working with my crazy schedule. Thank you, Becca and Amanda, for being there every step of the way. I'm glad I met you guys. I would like to thank my mom, dad, and sister for believing I could be more and dealing with my non-existence over the last few years. I love you guys. Lastly, I need to thank my husband, James, and my children, Aiden and Aaliyah. I know you have all made sacrifices and there have been lots and lots of changes, but I need you to know I appreciate all the love and support and time you have given me to fulfill this dream. Thank you guys, I love you. So at this time, I'd like to invite all nurses to stand for the Florence Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care.
We did it. My name is John Oscar, and I'm proud to be part of this graduating class. For those who don't know me, I've been in the medical field a very long time, starting out as a paramedic, and I've worked in and out of hospitals for over 30 years. And as we close today's ceremony, I would just like to humbly share one lesson that I have learned in all of that time. This lesson is summarized in a quote from Jean Watson, who was a nursing theorist and professor. She says, nurses are a unique kind. They have this insatiable need to care for others, which is both their greatest strength and fatal flaw. The fact that we are wearing these nice, shiny new pins showing that we had what it takes to get here. However, we cannot continue if we don't first and foremost take care of ourselves and our fellow nurses and healthcare people that we work with. May we be the generation that permanently puts away that saying, nurses eat their young. I think if we do that, then we can have a very long and prosperous career. I'd like to congratulate my fellow classmates on their achievement. I'd like to thank our nursing instructors for guiding us through all of this that we had to go through with the pandemic and the changing schedules, changing clinical times, just the whole chaos that was our nursing school. Even up to the point of having to move this ceremony one day. It was just, it was perfect, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you for our loved ones. My wife Tammy, my brother-in-law Kevin back there, they had to put up with a lot of closed doors, a lot of being ignored, picking up the slack at church when I couldn't be there. All of us had to deal with that. The long clinical hours being away and being incredibly neurotic over the past two years. Anybody, can I get a witness? We thank you. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. In closing, I would like to thank everyone for coming today. It's been an honor, and I mean that, an incredible honor to share this journey with you. Be safe in your celebrations this evening, and have a blessed holiday season. Take care, and God bless you.